Guys, I have breaking news. This is not a drill, guys. I am not, I know I have a flair for the dramatics, but this is genuinely a really big deal. YouTube have changed their monetization requirements, which means it is now easier for more creators to earn money on YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna break down what these changes are and what they mean for you. If you enjoy content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. Guys, I'm so excited to share this with you because I just know so many of you are gonna be so excited by this news, myself included, right? So bit of context. I was very fortunate enough to actually interview a YouTube strategic partner manager. She's called Maz, she's amazing. I was actually able to interview her as part of my podcast, which is called The Creator Project. I'll include links below. And in the interview, she dropped a bombshell on me, which was that YouTube are changing their monetization requirements. So obviously straight away, I was like, cool, got to record a video, make sure this goes live as soon as the announcement goes live so that you guys can hear the information from me as quickly as possible. It's also worth noting that throughout the entire podcast episode, we talk about loads of other things. For example, how she got her job at YouTube, but also tips for how you could be a successful creator coming directly from YouTube. So if you want to listen to the full episode, check out the links below. Let's talk about these new requirements though. So these monetization requirements are referring to YouTube's partner program. For those of you who don't know, YouTube's partner program is essentially a program which allows creators to earn income from ads placed in between their videos. So you would have seen some ads either already or at some point throughout this video. I'm able to actually earn income from those ads that are placed within my content. Now, how this works in a nutshell is that a brand will pay YouTube in order to advertise in between creators' content. YouTube will then split that money, it's like 45%, 55% split roughly, between themselves. So they'll keep majority of it and then they'll give the rest to the creator who actually has the ad in their content. It's called a revenue share program because YouTube are quite literally splitting their income with their creators, which is the best way to do it, by the way. So other social media platforms need to take no. Now, previously, a creator would have had to have had 1,000 subscribers. They would have had to accumulate 4,000 watch hours over the past 12 months. That's on a rolling 12 month basis. And as of recently, they could join the partner program if they had 10 million views on their shorts within the past 90 days. Now, these numbers are scrapped. They are gone. We have some new ones in town. So now you no longer need 1,000 subscribers. You now only need 500 subscribers. Now, I said only, obviously, gaining 500 of subscribers is a huge achievement. So please don't get me wrong with the way I'm referring to it. But in terms of the change from 1000 subscribers to 500 subscribers, that's a pretty significant change. They've cut the requirement in half. In addition to this, you no longer need 4,000 watch hours over the past 12 months. You now only need 3,000 watch hours. And for those YouTube shorts creators out there, you no longer need 10 million views on your shorts from the past 90 days. Now you need 3 million views, which by the way, I completely called. I need to figure if I said this in a YouTube video or in a training session or what, but the second I heard about what you needed in order to join the YouTube partner program as a shorts creator, the second I heard you needed 10 million views, I was like, no, there's no way they're going to keep it at that because that is a lot of views. So they have reduced that amount by like what, almost two thirds, quick math, to 3 million views, which is still a lot of views, but it's a lot more attainable for a lot of creators. What does this mean? Well, to state the obvious, it means significantly more creators can join YouTube's partner program, which means they can start putting ads in and around their videos and they can start to earn income through their content. It makes me very excited, not just because I know a lot of creators who deserve to be part of the partner program and who are just shy of being able to join based on the previous requirements, but I've also just launched a separate YouTube channel, which is where my video podcasts live for the Creator Project, which is my new business, right? And I'm excited because I'm like, oh, I can start monetizing that channel sooner than I thought as well. Like this is a big deal for a lot of creators and it is a big deal for the creator economy. Aside from that, it also means that YouTube are clearly making changes to ensure that their creators can earn more money, which obviously I'm all here for. That's what I'm about. There's an argument to say that maybe this came along because YouTube recently changed their CEO and maybe this is the doing of them. I'm not quite sure. I don't work there. But regardless, it shows a clear dedication to ensuring that their creators can earn a decent living from the platform. Now, the other thing that it means is that this is as good of time to start a YouTube channel than ever. A lot of people will consistently say like, oh, it's too late to start a YouTube channel and it's absolute rubbish. Like people used to say this to me when I started in 2020. I have worked with creators who are like, yeah, I'm not gonna do a YouTube channel now because it's too late. And then they start and then they get thousands and thousands of subscribers and they're like, oh, it turns out it wasn't too late. And personally, as a viewer on YouTube, I'm constantly looking for new creators to 
watch. All of that to say is that it is not too late. There is still room for you, regardless of the niche or the type of content that you want to create. And now is as good of a time than ever, because now you can earn money on YouTube a lot quicker with a lot fewer requirements than you used to be able to. So if you are someone who's been considering starting their YouTube or considering rebooting it or considering putting a lot of effort into it and you haven't made the plunge, please take this as your sign to go ahead and do that. I'm going to link to a video up here, which is all about how you can start your YouTube step by step. It's very detailed. So if you're starting out, I recommend watching this video next. Okay, guys. So it's just a quick upload for me, but you knew I had to jump on here and let you know the news as soon as I possibly could. As I mentioned, if you want to listen or watch the full podcast interview with Maz, who's a YouTube strategic partner manager, I highly recommend that you do so. I will put links in the description. Also, if you feel like hanging around, another YouTube video that you could watch that would really help you out is this one. It's all about how you can actually grow on YouTube in 2023. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this new update. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video.